Hello everybody, welcome to the video. Today we're doing some Automobilista. Um, doing some Britpack uh, centric stuff here using the Caterums that were released as part of the Britpack DLC, the Caterum 620R. So we're using the top spec one. Um, doing a 20 minute race against the AI around the Alton Park, uh, Alton Park circuit. Um, I think we're using the island layout, so it's the sort of middle ground layout. So good layout, I quite like it, so I think it fits well with these caterums as well. So not quite actually sure, we may have to actually have to do a pit stop, looking at the fuel um, amount we can carry. You can only carry 36 litres in these cars, so we may actually have to do a fuel stop um, to get to the end. I'm not entirely sure, we'll have to see on that, but uh, yeah, we'll see how we go. Uh, AI is set to 109% difficulty, uh, putting them on low aggression because they uh, can be oblivious to other people existing. Um, but hopefully on low they shouldn't be too bad. So yeah, we'll see how we go as we head to the race. Uh, skip the intro for the race 10. Is about to begin. Here we go. About to begin with the race. Alright. And we're away. away. Go, go, go. Well, okay, we'll spin. <laughs> this is my first time I've ever actually started in a cave room, so. Probably should have done a practice start beforehand, but we have dropped like an absolute stone off the line, but that is fine. Get some next to us. Oh. If we did not lose all the time. So this is really my first proper lapse in the I had a quick little practice before this just to get the hang of the car. Briefly, he's going to dive bomb up the inside. It's going to take a second one, but he's actually having a look at the way ahead of him. She's ready now. Clear. I'll tell you what, these things are absolutely... <laughs> they are catering to be fair, so of course they're pretty pretty mental, but... Keep right. You know what? Clear Keep left. Keeping right, we don't do that, we just cut them off. Whoa! Back end. Oh, It's just so over it's so fun. But I um, thought I'd just do a quick AMS video, quick little catering race, because why not? Also, I can kind of give my thoughts on the Brit Pack. So I have tried out two, to a degree at least, all the cars. Um, those of you who watch my live stream of the uh, race department events with the Brit Pack when it was initially released, when we used the Formula Trainer, um, we've seen me driving that. So I've got a good, good amount of time with that. Really fun car, that is super fun. Um, basically, four more Ford uh, style car, really good fun um, to drive. Oh boy. <laughs> These things are good fun as well, though. As I haven't really driven the K-Rooms too much. This is my first, probably, real proper drive with them, but they are a lot of fun. They really are. They just really... They dance around so much, but they're so good. <laughs> that is mental, mental stuff. They are K-Rooms, as I said, so... Sort of not surprising. They do a bit of a dive bomb. Why not? Clear. Good stuff. Ooh, what's the back end? There we go. I also got rid of all the HUD, so I figured probably for, especially when you use first an AI, I don't think it'd be terribly appealing for a video having, you know, HUD, all these different, you know, things on the screen blocking the view, so you kind of don't realise how much your view's being taken up by all the, all the stuff you have on until you get rid of it, hey? I've only just noticed that now when I'm, <laughs> now I've got rid of it, now I'm actually just doing it in a more of a purist sense, you, know, okay, you don't realise how much you actually got on the screen until you get rid of it, so... Yeah, I mean, it's handy for, for league racing. I think it's quite vital to have all the information. Uh, it really helps, but we use the AI. It's good to get rid of it and just have the, you know, the sense of the race. But i um, quite happy with uh, what we've managed to do with the AI. 109% seems to be right about on the, on the good stuff. Yeah, K-Rooms there. <laughs> Little lightweight, just absolute... Mad machines. Great fun though, gotta say. Really enjoying it. Yeah, you know, they're a challenge, but they're not impossible to drive, you know. They're, they're a good fun challenge. You can be a little bit a bit sidewaysy with them. Have a bit of bit of fun. Bit of fun, always good. Let's watch that back end, you just gotta sort of ease the throttle in. And you're good. Oh, I was gonna do a dive bomb, but <laughs> Not quite, we weren't quite close enough. Ooh. 
back end a bit tail happy, but we should be able to have a look. Watch your left. Hold your line. He's fighting it. Keep right. Won't be for long. All clear. There we go. All clear. All right, fantastic. Cheers for that radio man. But yeah, they're good fun, these things, and um, Alton Park as well, obviously Alton Park a great fun track, um, you know, not a classic in the British motoring sphere for nothing, um, it's a good fun track, I haven't actually done much running in it again in AMS, but it's good fun, um, good layout obviously, I mean, Razor, you know, they're doing, as with any Razor content for AMS, it's pretty top notch. Um, and it's it's good. It's good. And a lot of layout. Oh, okay. Plenty of layouts there. Nearly. <laughs> we lost the rear there, so I kind of had a little bit of a panic attack. But um, um, yeah, with this, you've got the four different layouts. You've got the international one. You've got the national. Uh, then this one, which is the island layout. Uh, and there's one more layout as well. Um, so, which is quite cool. So, plenty of layouts, which is always good. Same with the uh, brands. I think Catwold is only the. Is there one? There might be more than one. I think there might be two, maybe, for, for Catwold. But, right but yeah, um, plenty of louts, which is great. AI is sort of stumbling over each other here, so whoa, back end. We might be able to have another quick look. On your left. There you go. Car left. Still there. Keep right. Clear left. Alright, we're good. <laughs> the good thing with the K-Room is, usually, I'm finding, if it does go the back end, it's usually catchable, um, at least for the moment, which is great. So you can sort of, ooh, you can sort of, um, lose the back end, but you can catch it generally, at least at higher speeds, which is, uh, quite nice. Ooh, we corrected, we didn't have to, but anyway, that's fine, we got away with it. So yeah, it's good fun, is the <laughs> again the back end. Good fun car though, it really is a lot of fun. Just to drive, you know, I don't even have to be versing AI to know that. It's just really fun. Good combo with Cabo actually, works quite well. I mean with um, Alton works quite well. I suspect Cabo these things might be a bit of a handful. Um, Cabo was enough of a handful in the uh, form of the trainers when we were racing around with them, so. At least with the top spec catering, mm -hmm. maybe with the maybe with the lowest lower power caterings, uh, Cadwell could work a bit. But I think with these higher power ones, it'd be a little bit too small. On your left. Still there. Inside. Clear. And once again, we're really getting a great. <laughs> Despite how out of control we might be, we're getting right. great Clear. exits out of here. Car left. Clear left. Which is letting us go up the inside like that. But yeah, obviously Brit Pack, um, at least a bit a while, you know, not ages ago, but a bit a while ago now. That's not exactly brand spanking new. It's been out for a bit. Um, general consensus, I think, is quite good for it. Um, but thought I'd just do a quick little, you know. We'll drive in it, because why not, so some my thoughts. And as I said, yeah, really, really impressed, I thought. I mean, AMS is, I think it's a bit of a hidden gem. I think a lot of people, it doesn't get quite the sort of... Oh, I was going to have a look up the inside, but not quite brave enough on the brakes. Um, yeah, it's not got the sort of, sort of fan service that the likes of... Um, oh, well, way too deep there. Whoopsie daisy. <laughs> yeah, it hasn't got the sort of fan service that something like... Um, that iRacing has perhaps, or Seto Corsa or anything like that, it hasn't quite got the the, um, the sort of fan, uh, following I guess, uh, even R Factor 2 really, and I think R Factor 2 is probably one of the lesser ones in terms of following compared to, especially compared to iRacing and sort of Seto Corsa, they kind of got a little bit more of that mainstream almost if, if there is such a thing in sim racing, <laughs> more of a audience reach, but um, so yeah, I think AMS is it's, it's a little bit of a hidden gem for some. I don't think it's got as much of a following as some of the other um, titles in the sim racing sphere, but 
It's it's growing. It just keeps growing. You know, it's got a lot of content in it, and the content just keeps getting added to with all these these packs. And I think from what I've seen, they have the next you know the next. Well, I had it plan. Well, I had it planned for the next few months. I think, but um, but uh, the Brit pack was released. I think slightly later than they were planning. Um, so that possibly might set back future DLCs. But there's a good another. From what I've seen, they should have put out a little bit of a front, a little plan of what they have coming. And there's a good, you know, three or four DLC packs that are coming, so there's still plenty of content coming from this game. Um, so that's really good. So the support's still there for a lot of content. As I said, there's still there's already plenty as it is. Um, there's a lot of variety too. So I mean, I know the engine, and that's sort of the thing that's always, you know, always said about AMS. It's always that all the engines a bit outdated, you know, because it is obviously, you know, still sort of based on our Factor One engine, heavily modified, of course, at this point, but um. You know, still can be based on that, so there's always that, and that's one thing that um, sort of goes against it for a lot of people. But I don't know, I think at this point you can't really call it being based on that. You can almost, I, I think it's yeah, it's well beyond, it's evolved well beyond what it used to be um, in early access, but not just that, and um, also for like Game Stock Car Extreme, for example, um, which obviously was the predecessor of this game, halfway through the race. Um, yeah, obviously. Game stock car was kind of the was a predecessor to this, predecessor game to this one by Razor, um, and it was the one that that was the one that was based pretty much entirely on the R Factor One engine. Of course, that was what they used. They basically just used that engine. and They just modified it um, and pretty much just upgraded it is for, for, for game stock car. Um, as the the saying always was, was that it was R Factor One on steroids. Was the the common sort of uh, phrase that was assigned to Game Stock Car, and yep, I can agree with that for Game Stock Car. But Stock Car, but I think AMS is long past that now. I think it's it's much, much more than R Factor One on steroids now. I think much, much more. So, I mean, to me, it can easily compete with um, the big boys, you know, R Factor Two, even I Racing. I'd say I think it has a, you know, it has a say. I mean, it's not, you know, it's still, it's certainly not the most, the prettiest. Um, Certainly, when compared to the likes of iRacing, um, certainly I've got of course a set of course, you know, the likes of that. It's not anywhere near as pretty of the, as pretty as those games, and you could even say R Factor Two's got the measure of it in terms of the looks, and R Factor Two's is certainly not renowned for its for being the best looking scene out there. But you know, it's it's just it's a lot of fun. It really is, and it just as I said, it's just been keeps getting developed further and further and further and further. It just keeps getting better and better, and it's definitely one worth looking at. Um, not necessarily, you know, there's not an awfully huge amount of league support for it, and that might be one of the things that holds it back, is that there's not really huge Your amounts of league support um, up to for AMS. But I do feel like it's it's got a, you know, it's certainly for, if you just want a good, really good variety of vehicles, you know, there's, this is one to look at. It's just good fun, I don't know, I just have a lot of fun. I think the, the force feedback is really nice. That's one thing that I've seen a lot of people like about AMS. It's got really nice force yeah. feedback, which I would agree with. Force feedback is very, very good on this game. Um, oops, we might be able to take this guy here. Hold your line. Clear. Oh, dive bomb? No. <laughs> Not quite brave enough once again, but... Um, but yeah, it's... And the brick pack's certainly a nice little addition to it, and you know, adding those British classics, um, tracks and cars. Obviously the other ones in the pack, you've got obviously the former trainers I said, these, uh, then you've got the Ultimas, the old Ultima GTRs, you've got a road going and race going versions of that. Um, I think it's the MCR sports car, actually I don't know too much about it, but it's a British sports car, it's a really weird looking car. A bit of an exotic looking one, but good fun, I had a quick, I've had a quick run in it, and it's good fun so far from what I've seen. So. Watch your left. Oop. All clear. Okay, didn't realize he was st still there. Clear left. Okay, he gave me a little nudge there. Nicey nice. Did he actually damaged the steering? I don't think he did. I think we're okay. Yeah, it's it's a good addition, as I said, AMS. It's certainly certainly good fun, but I'm not really, you know, I think you know, a lot of a lot of the you know, sim racing, you know, a lot of people there sort of you know, sort of I'm not saying everyone does, but Kind of like with everything, really, in a sense. Uh, you know, people have their favourites, but I don't know. To me, I don't know I'm not really. 
I think all the sims, all the big sims out there have their positives, to be honest. You know, Half-Act 2 has got its positives, you know, the um, force feedback, day-night cycles, um, weather cycles and all that. Kind of its positives there, iRacing has its positives, so the course has its positives, and S has its positives. You know, all the different sims, they have their, they have their posi have their things they're really good at, they have things they're not so good at. You know, not, none of them are perfect, and... I don't know, I just think, <laughs> just, just have fun, I don't know, I don't think we need to really, you know, assign favourites sims-wise, you just, you know, just, I, I think just we need to, we just should just relish in the time we have sim racing-wise, because there's just so many really great titles out there, you know, all battling to be the best sim, and so what that's doing is giving, it's a good thing for us consu our customers and us, you know, players of the sims, because, because all the different different developers are trying to beat each other um, it's meaning that we're just getting such fantastic um, simulators to play you know? so I think you just look at the positives you know? no need to, no need to de get into you know oh, this one's better than that because of this 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 just uh, just enjoy just enjoy the sims that we have at the moment you know it's in such a rich environment that's only getting better and better um, with time and you know, we just enjoy it so just five more minutes. There we go. I was about to say we wouldn't be much off five minutes to go, surely. So we're into the last quarter of this race. I'm not actually sure where we're positioned right now in the in the race. I can probably check that here on the HUD. Oh, eighth. There we go. I'm not sure we started either. I've already forgot where we started, but I think we started something like sixth or so. So we made back up the time. I think that we mostly anyway that we lost off the line with that poor start. Got a bit of a battle pack up ahead. So I think we're fine on fuel, so it turns out we were more than, a fuel, full tank is more than enough apparently, which is good, so, yeah, but anyway, best to be safe. There's a, there's a real battle pack here. Oh, here we go. Let's do it. Oh. <laughs> it's just so twitchy, I love it. Back in. Just, oh, hello. Oh, double overtake. <laughs> Kinda. <laughs> Thought he was going to close the door. Oh. Grab this guy. Up the hill, maybe. Oh. Oh. Hey, I was kind of freaked out. Oh, we're going to lose. Oh, oh. Oh. Lost it in all that panic. Hey, guys, just, yeah. Oh, oh, bit of a lock-up. We're going to have a lovely flat spot from that, but, um... Actually, we shouldn't probably have because it's uh, we should have road going tires with all on these things. But <laughs> temperatures are good. I think he, um, AI is just basically going, "Wait, you're actually trying down there?" <laughs> it's like, really? <laughs> you really want to do that? <laughs> anyway, let's see if we can get back seventh here. Oh, we actually went up a spot. I didn't even notice that. Anyway, oh yeah, because we passed three minutes left. Three minutes to go. All right, so we should only have probably a couple of laps to go. I would say in this race. Okay, your tire temps are looking good. Oh, dive bomb, dive bomb, are dive bomb. Right? Oh, yeah. Gotta love that dive bomb. Oh, yeah. Hold your line. All clear. It's just not right, isn't it, to not have a good dive bomb. You've got to have a good dive bomb. You've got to have a good dive bomb. Have at least one. It's going to do it again there, but we'll be patient. We'll be patient. Yeah, good fun, these key drums. There they are. Good fun, little car. You can just drive around. Oh. As I said, they're not... I don't feel like they're impossible. They're not. Um, they're, ch they're a bit of a challenge, that's for sure. Um, you know, but certainly the tail end is a little bit, a wee bit happy, so to speak. But um, oh, you yeah. know, where's the fun in it when they're not, you know, a little bit leery? <laughs> oh, can we? Oh boy, I didn't mean to dive bomb him. Oh, <laughs> that was an unintentional dive bomb. But that's okay. Well, can we get six though? He's got a poor exit. Let's do it. Oh. <laughs> on your left. You nearly slide past left. him, right? Let's be Keep brave. Right. That's P7. Yeah. All clear. That's P6. All right. There we go. Lovely. Up to P6. So I think we've pretty much regained what we lost early on, which is good. Uh oh, uh oh. I say as I think I'm white. Oh. On your left. Oh, oh hello. <laughs> 
didn't leave much room there. <laughs> right, let's do a dive bomb. Car left. Oh yeah. Clear left. And then dive bombs. Oh, he's gonna. He's gonna. Right. Oh. All clear. <laughs> <laughs> Saw him coming, and I was just like, nope. <laughs> I don't know if it was a real legit, legit, but you know what? It's only it's the AI. Um, I don't really get it too serious when I'm racing the AI. I'm not going to say I'm going to just bash him out of the way, but. We don't need a pit stop. I'm talking about pit stops. Oh, whoops, didn't mean that. Oh! Oops, he didn't mean that either. I'm trying to remember what the button I have set for unrequesting a pit stop, because I really don't need one. A little bit, that's one annoying little feature that happens. It's, oh, I think R Factor 2 is the same thing as um, it automatically requests a pit stop when it thinks you need one. You don't, I don't really need one, but it thinks I need In. one. Right now. Wow, you yeah. <laughs> pit right now, damn it. It's very, uh, very demanding, jeez. Final lap. Okay, okay radio man. Not really. You're in P6. Sweet, cheers, man. Okay. Fine. I think that was fine left, did you just say? Cool. They work well around here, around Alton. I think they work pretty well around brands as well, the K-Rooms. So there goes the time, so this is the final lap. I'm pretty sure it's, once the time runs out, it's just finished that lap, so... So we can get top five. Let's see if we can... Oh! I say as I get a <laughs> very poor exit out of the hairpin. Um... Oh, should we? Should we? Oh, it's going to go for the biggest dive bomb in history, but... No. Let's see if we can get him through the final sector. Ooh, a little bit twitchy. Oh no, we need boxed. Right side. Clear right. Oh, Come can right. we? Oh. Clear. All clear. Watch your left. We've done it. All yes. Clear. Watch oh your no. Left. <laughs> Hold your line. Clear. That's the checkered flag. Oh, we didn't do it. Stop postponed. Your brake temperatures are right on. Ah, uh, we didn't That's do it. <laughs> I got steering damage. I'm not sure, but. <laughs> There you have it. There you have it. Uh dear. Tried to go for it, but uh, nearly <laughs> spun it down the straight. But yeah. There you go. Good fun. Good fun. These cars, as I said. Yeah, good fun. Um, certainly, if you like a bit of, bit of British, bit, bit of British tang, it's certainly worth looking into. But. Yeah, just thought I'd do a bit of a, you know, a bit of just a verse AI, almost a bit of a chill video. You know, just because why not? It's always good fun just to have a bit of a let loose a bit. You know, not take it too seriously. Just have a good, just to have a good time. And uh, I think these cater rooms certainly, <laughs> certainly cater for that, as you could probably see there throughout that video. But uh, hope you guys enjoyed um, this AMS little look at, little look at the little fun with the Brit Pack. Uh, until the next one, guys. I'll see you then.